When you read the Bible, there's a guy that really stands out, a man named Paul. Paul was a missionary who wrote the books of Romans, Galatians, and many others in the Bible. But what's really incredible is Paul's story before he became a follower of Jesus. He was a very different person. His name wasn't even Paul. It was Saul, and he hated anyone who followed Jesus. Saul tried to do what was right by following the old laws, but he believed anyone who followed Jesus was wrong. So he chased down Christians and captured them. One day, Saul was given permission to go to a town called Damascus and arrest any followers of Jesus that he found there. But an incredible event happened on the road to Damascus. As Saul got closer to the city, a bright light shone from heaven, blinding him. He dropped to the ground and heard a loud voice coming from the sky. Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Who are you? I am Jesus, the one you think is wrong. Get up and go to the city. Then you will be told what you need to do next. Saul got up from the ground, but he was blind. He couldn't see anything. He was led to Damascus by his men, but for three full days, he was blind and didn't eat or drink anything. Now in that city, there was a man who followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. He also heard the voice of Jesus. Ananias, go to the house where Saul is. Place your hands on him so he will be able to see again. Ananias was scared because he knew Saul had a bad reputation. He knew Saul hated Christians like him, but the Lord said, Go, Saul is the man I have chosen to share my good news. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying. He put his hands on him and prayed for God to restore Saul's sight. Immediately, Saul could see again. He quickly chose to follow Jesus, got baptized, and regained his strength with some food. Saul stayed in that city and began to share God's good news with everyone. People knew he was the man who used to hate God and Christians, but they saw that now he was different. God had transformed him. He was no longer the Saul that didn't believe in Jesus. Now he was Paul, who spent the rest of his life serving God. Oh, well hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV! Hosted by Carl! Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Grow TV! Hey there, everybody. It is so good to see you. What's that? Oh, this? Well, to be completely honest, I wasn't expecting y'all. You see, all of y'all know that my main job as a host is a great TV show called Grow TV. But sometimes when I get the chance, I like to deliver mail, like a messenger. That's right, delivering other people's mail is like one of my favorite pastimes. Something about taking long walks outside, seeing all the pretty stuff in the neighborhood. It's soothing, you know? Also, sometimes people leave snacks on the sidewalk, so... Never mind about that last one. Now you're probably wondering why I love being a messenger so much. Well, it's simple. Messages are important. I mean, think about it. Your parents coming to tell you that dinner's ready? Well, that's a message. A birthday card from your grandma, but like you open it and there's money in it and you're trying to like be like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm reading the card, grandma. This is so nice. But the whole time you're just focused on how much money is in the card. <laughs> that's a message. Messages can bring sadness or joy. They could tell us new things or remind us of something from a long time ago. So as a messenger, I get excited about bringing people these. Speaking of people, I'm outside here at my good friend Andrew's house. Now are y'all cool if I pull a little prank on him real quick? He doesn't really like spiders, so I got a little fake one for him. <laughs> Let's try it. Hi Angie, you home? Hey Carl, good to see ya. And to you as well, nice to see you as such as well. Anywho, I got a message for you. Oh really? Great. Yeah, it looks like something someone ordered off the web. <laughs> nice, I've been waiting for- oh! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I thought that would be funny. Okay, it was a little funny. But seriously, is there anything for me today? Oh, let me see. Ah, I found one. Here you go. 
Awesome. Huh. What is it? I'm not sure. It says, we are God's messengers. Huh. That makes no sense. Who's it from? It doesn't say. It just says Acts 9, 1 through 20 on the envelope. Well, that makes no sense. What doesn't? Well, the letter said, we ain't God's messengers. Whoa, hold up there, Carl. You don't think we're God's messengers? Of course not. That was like Moses, Deborah, Elijah. Paul? Exactly. Paul. He's a messenger for God. Not me. I wouldn't be so sure, Carl. Do you know what happened in Acts 9? Is that where the ark drove into like this other dimension filled with like a whole bunch of marshmallow people? Um, no, I'm not even sure that's in the Bible. Anyway, the story is something truly special. Do you have your Bible on you? You know I do. Acts chapter 9, Carl. Acts is in the New Testament. <laughs> I knew that. I was just hoping that when I opened my Bible, the pages would tell me where I needed to go. Has that ever worked? No, usually Andy or Jada just reads it to me. X, X, X. Ah, chapter 9. What happened? Well, the thing is, Saul... Wait, Saul? I thought we were talking about the Apostle Paul. We are. Same guy. So there was a time when Saul was not the nicest to people who followed Jesus. Really? Really. He didn't believe in Jesus at all. And he tried to get other people to stop believing in Jesus too. But one day he was traveling with his friends and God spoke to Saul. No way! What did God say? And God asked Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? Saul asked, who are you, Lord? And God responded with, I am Jesus whom you are persecuting. He replied, now get up and go into the city and you will be told what you must do. Whoa, I bet Saul was pretty shocked to hear that. That's right. When Saul fell down, he tried to stand up and he couldn't see. He went blind? Yep. So they got up and went to Damascus, the city nearby, and he couldn't see for three days. Whoa, that's a long time. Was God going to help him? Of course, but not in the way you would expect. God spoke to a man in the city by the name of Ananias. God told him to go to a house in the city to find Saul, but he didn't want to at first. What? Why wouldn't he want to help someone? Well, if you remember, I said that Saul didn't really like anyone who followed Jesus. He had a reputation of hurting people like that, so Ananias was afraid that he might get hurt too. Oh, I understand that then. So what did he do? He trusted God. He did what he was told, and when he found Saul, everything changed. No way! How? They met in the house that Saul was in, and then Ananias put his hands on him and prayed. Then Saul's vision returned and he could see. They spent time with him in Ananias' community. They gave him food and he was baptized too. <laughs> Let's go, that is so cool. Isn't it? Paul was forever changed and that's how we become one of God's messengers. Wow, so Paul wasn't a nice guy before, but since he met Jesus, everything changed. Exactly, and Paul spent the rest of his life sharing God's message with everyone he could. And we are invited to do the same. We have the chance to be changed just like Saul was. It's kind of amazing that we get to be messengers just like so many believers before us. You really think so? Of course, God calls us to take the message of Jesus and deliver it to all of our friends and family. What about people we don't know? Yup, everyone. But don't worry, when we get nervous, we can trust God just like Ananias did. <laughs> Ain't that the truth. Hey kids, guess what I got in the mail? It's today's big idea. You know what it is? I bet you do. It's We Are God's Messengers. So let's say it out loud so the whole neighborhood can hear us, okay? One, two, three. We Are God's Messengers. Great job, everyone. Now make sure to tune in next week because we have a very special delivery for you. See you then. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of
me the way to freedom Now I'll walk in the light You're all, all that my heart is seeking Cause you're great in my life It doesn't matter what I face It doesn't matter what comes in my way I know that you care for me This is the